In goal, probably Joe Hart, a big friend of mine, top keeper. Um, seen him put in some amazing performances and kept us in games. So Joe Hart in goal. Probably right back, um, Danny Alves. Um, had a number of games against him and always good battles. So much energy, quality going forward and, and, and tough defensively. So Danny Alves right back. Left back, probably Ashley Cole. Played with him against him. Um, probably one of the best left backs around over the last couple of decades. Great energy again, really good defensively, um, so consistent. Centre half, uh, I would probably say uh, Jonathan Woodgate. Um, you know, a bit unlucky with injuries throughout his career, but top, top player. Um, and, uh, you know, could read the game quick, really good on the ball. It's tough, this probably between Rio. And Vinny Company, I'll probably put Vinny in there. Um, played with him longer and um, good captain, good leader, um, really tough competitor and, and good defender. So I'll put uh, Vinny in there. Midfield, uh, Stevie G, easy one. Um, you know, all-round player, unbelievable. Remember my first time in the England squad with him and just completely ran the training session with his ability. So um, don't need to say too much about Stevie. Everyone knows how good he was. Uh, top, top player. I'll put um, David Silva in there as well, in the midfield, a uh, little magician, um, top player on the ball, always see a pass, great way to pass, um, so David Silva, probably uh, Iniesta, um, you know, I don't think you realise how quick he is as well with the, with the ball as well, top player, um, you know, won so many trophies, done it for so long, so um, another great player. Messi would have to be in there. Um, because obviously the amount of goals he scored, amazing talent. Yeah, I mean, we played against him a few times in the Champions League and, um, you know, most people probably remember the, the nutmeg on myself, but, um, you know, I wasn't the first and I won't be the last year got Meg by him, you know, he's an unbelievable talent, so uh, he's, uh, he's great to watch. He seems to travel quicker with the ball than without it, so uh, obviously Messi. So I think you have to put Alan Shearer in there for, you know, the, the record and the amount of goals he scored and you think he had a couple of seasons out injured and, you know, what an unbelievable career uh, Wayne Rooney's had up to this point and the amount of goals he's scored and he's still 60 off it, so it shows how consistent she was to, to do it. Finally, I would probably say uh, Sergio Aguero, um, tough one. Carlos Tevez was probably up there as well. Um, I was lucky to play with Patrick Cliver at, at Newcastle as well, so um, some big names, but um, I think Sergio, the amount of goals he scored, um, could change a game on his own and uh, scored some important ones as well, none more so than the one that won as a league the first time, so uh, Sergio Brown. You know, you've got a bit of everything, obviously, sheer power and, and holding it up great in the air, Messi, dribbling and, and Sergio as well. I think those three in attack could be uh, pretty, pretty dangerous and pretty good to watch.